Hello everybody. This clip is devoted to examples. We begin with a projective plane and take a look at the tautological map. This tautological map goes from C3 minus origin to the plane P2 and it sends a non-zero vector Z to the line through the origin and this vector Z. As we will see in a minute, this is a toric morphism. Now we learn that toric varieties are in a factorial correspondence with lattice fields. So this toric morphism should have a counterpart on the side of lattice fans, a map of lattice fans. It's our task to work this out in the next minutes. Let us briefly recall the involved toric structures. Write W3 for C3 minus the origin. Then on W3 we have the standard 3 torus action given by T dot Z equal T naught Z naught T1 Z1 T2 Z2. The base point of this toric variety W3 is the point 1, 1, 1. Similar on the projective plane, we have the standard two torus action given by t dot c doing nothing in the first coordinate, then t1, z1, t2, z2, and the base point is the point 1, 1, 1. We turn the tautological map P into a toric morphism. First observe that P respects the base point. The next task is to determine the accompanying homomorphism of tori P tilde from the three torus to the two torus. For this we take any torus element and look what happens with T dot the base point. So we apply T, then map, and now observe that this coordinate T naught has to be non-zero because we have a torus element. So this point in the plane is the same as that one. And by the definition of the toric structure of P2, this element is the same as applying T1 over T0 and T2 over T0 to the element 1, 1, 1. So we end up with T1 over T0 T2 over T0 times the image P of 1, 1, 1. That means that we have found our toric morphism P, P tilde, where P tilde from the 3 torus to the 2 torus is given by T0, T1, T2 goes to T1 over T0, T2 over T0. Now we want to see how this toric morphism looks like in the setting of the lattice fans. First we need the fans of W3 and the plane P2. The fan of W3 is almost the fan of C3, which we already know to be the auth, and we just have to remove the cone, which comes from those one parameters, subgroups, uh, having the origin as their limit point. So we end up with all proper faces of the orthant, uh, like here. In the fan of the projective plane we already know it is the fan in the plane having three maximal cones spanned by 1, 0, 0, 1, the next one 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1, and then minus 1, minus 1, 1, 0. So from the picture we can already guess what our map of fans should be, it should send this vector to that one, this vector to that one, and this vector to that one. However, by definition, our map of fans is the push forward of one parameter subgroups. Now, we identify the one parameter subgroups of the three torus with Z3, and the one parameter subgroups of the two torus with Z2. In this setting, our push forward homomorphism is just the Jacobian of pi tilde evaluated in the point 111. 
That means we have to compute the derivative of this map here. And the result is the matrix with first column minus one, minus one, so this vector, second column one, zero, so this vector, and third column is just that vector. So the map of friends indeed looks like as we expected. Here's another example of a toric morphism. The Veronese embedding from P1 into P2. It sends a point Z0, Z1 to Z0 square, Z0, Z1, Z1 square. That means we put here all the monomials of degree 2. This Veronese embedding is an example of a toric morphism, as I said. We need the accompanying homomorphism of the acting tori. It goes from T1 to T2 and sends an element T to T, T square. This works out. We obtain a toric morphism from P1 to P2 with the standard toric structures by the pair I, I tilde. Let us look at it in the setting of friends. The push forward map of front parameter subgroups in this case, identifying again these lattice of one parameter subgroups with Z and Z1 with Z2, we obtain the push forward as I equals the Jacobian of tilde I in the point 1, and this is just obtained by differentiating this, and we get the matrix with one column, one, two. How does the corresponding map of fans look like? Here we have uh, the fan of the projective line with two maximal cones. Here we have the fan of the projective plane with the three maximal cones. And our I takes this fan and puts it like that into the fan of the projective plane. The Veronese embedding gives us the following commutative diagram. From P1 to P2 we go via the Veronese embedding. Then we look at the tautological maps on both sides and just lift the Veronese embedding by taking the same monomials for the map phi above. This phi above, this lifting, also is a toric morphism. We need the accompanying homomorphism of tori. Now here we have a monomial map between C2 and C3, basically. We remove the zero. But this means that the accompanying homomorphism of such monomial map is just the monomial map again. The affine cone over the embedded P1 is, by definition, the closure of the image of the lifting embedding map. This is a surface X, which has defining equation Z0 times Z2 minus Z1 square. This Equation is directly verified by plugging in the image points. Now our X is also a toric variety. It has as acting torus the image, the homomorphic image of T2 and base point 111. And the associated fan can be determined entirely in the setting of fans. First, we have to find the push forward map. As in the earlier examples, we have to take the Jacobian at the point 1, 1, and that means differentiating this homomorphism, and we end up with this Jacobian matrix. Now, one proceeds as follows the cone is the Orthant in Q3, which basically determines us the toric variety C3 around. 
And we have to intersect this with the image of Q2 under F. This is subvector space. This gives us a coin. The lattice structure is the following. We take Z3 intersected with this subvector space. This gives us a sublattice. So we have a lattice cone here, and the statement is that sigma of x is the final phases of this lattice cone. In fact, this recipe works more generally. It can be used to determine the fans of convergency cones under images of toric morphisms. See you in the next clip. <laughs>